What if you could decorate spaces in less than 10 minutes without drilling or moving any furniture? The cool thing about this renovation method is that you can try out various design ideas quickly, choose the one that suits you the most, and eventually add your new decor in real life. Basically, you save time, money, and energy. I'm sure you're gonna find this method useful, so let's dive into it straight away! I moved to my dream apartment seven months ago, and I'm still in the process of decorating it. Before moving, I already had a clear vision of which basic furniture I wanted to see in my apartment. It was these chairs and a dining table from H. Colivin, one of my favorite design brands. Just to be clear, all furniture mentioned in this video is my personal preference and not an ad. Also, I'd been dreaming of having this fabulous desktop from Hay as well as this bed. Besides that, I purchased this little cabinet, this dresser, and a very comfy sofa along with an incredible puffy armchair. Despite being a minimalist, I wanted to liven my space up, so I decided that the kitchen would be the first spot to do that. All of the planning takes place inside the Procreate app, and once I've determined the final design there, I'll purchase everything and add it to the kitchen in real life. Once again, the app is called Procreate, and this is not a net. I'm gonna open it and create a new canvas. Then I'll insert a photo of my kitchen and place it in the center of the canvas. Then go to the crop and resize feature and remove the remaining white spots on the upper and lower parts of the canvas. After that, I'm going to establish the right and left vanishing points. And the first thing I'm gonna do is insert a photo of a brass lamp, which I'm gonna hang above the dining table. Since my interior is mostly black and white, I wanted to liven it up a little and add some color. The next step is to get rid of the white background. To do so, I'll use the freehand selection tool. I'm selecting the lamp very carefully, and accuracy is very important at this stage. Awesome, and now I'll erase the background. Using the same approach, you can try out different lamps and choose the one that you like the most. Now I think we can move on to the back wall. It's a bit empty at the moment, so I'm going to definitely add either posters or some shelves. When drawing straight lines, always think about the perspective you're currently working with. We'll hang four frames, so first I have to quickly define their approximate position. Since I only want to see if all the colors match, I'm using approximate dimensions. Because my eye is trained to see those things, I don't need a metal grid. And finally, let's insert the pictures themselves and place them in perspective. Also, don't forget to add thickness to the frame. It shouldn't look like a sheet of paper. And last but not least, the decor elements that will be on the dining table. At the end, we always add shadows, because you don't want your objects to float in the air. As soon as I get all my stuff, I'll shoot another video from Virtual to Real, so stay tuned! Let's check out the time I spent on decorating my kitchen corner. Less than 15 minutes, and I already have a great design solution! 
If you want to see how I decorate my whole apartment, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. And I'll see you in the next video.